right, folks, so let's start with the hip hop feud you probably didn't even know was happening. Rapper Rick Ross got mad at 50 Cent because 50 Cent apparently looked at him wrong at a hip hop awards show. <laughs> and it's just gotten dirtier from there because 50 posted nude pics of Ross's baby mama online. <laughs> So Ross fired back, trying to call 50 some nasty gay-related names. This, of course, offended the gay community, so Ross apologized, saying, and I quote, I heard I offended the homosexual community. I sincerely apologize. And just to let the gay community know how sincere I am with my apologies, I'm offering and willing to do a record with an openly gay artist. <laughs> Such as 50 Cent. That's a little salty, Ross. Um, anyways, uh, so I'm pretty sure 50 heard this and this was his comment. Man, I don't get it. You host one Oscar Wilde theme party and rock a few bathhouses and suddenly you gay? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyways, uh, some big movie news happening. HBO is making a movie called A Special Relationship. Uh, it's all about Bill Clinton and Tony Blair back in the day and how Monica Lewinsky almost wrecked Bill's political career. Dennis Quaid will play Bill. Monica Lewinsky will only be shown in the news footage, and Vern Troyer will play the role of the cigar. <laughs> That's a good role, Vern. You know what the good thing is? That 10 years later, Monica Lewinsky jokes are back, baby. The recession is over, people. We're heading back to the 90s. That's what I'm talking about. Anyways, next, remember this guy? This is John Schneider. Uh, he was Bo Duke on the original Dukes of Hazard. Well, John still is outraged about the 2005 movie version starring Johnny Knoxville and Jessica Simpson. Four years later, and he just can't let it go. Schneider says the movie lost all of the family values the TV show had. He called the original series, and I quote, a safe place you can go and take your kids. <laughs> I'm sure. Because nothing says child safety like running from the law in a fast car with no seat belts and the doors welded shut. <laughs> Guys, ridiculous. And finally, of course, my homeboy Mike Jackson is getting ready for his 50 sold out shows in London and says it's going to be the most spectacular show ever. Get this, apparently Michael will want to ride in on an African elephant, just to keep it hood, and, <laughs> and this is the crazy part, and have panthers in gold chains, on gold chains. This is ridiculous. By the way, Mike, your good buddy Roy from Siegfried and Roy called, and this was his message to you. I do not recommend it to him. <laughs> you know what the crazy part is? Is that, like, who would have thought, like, the best seats at this show will be the seats in the back of the theater? <laughs> because I trust Michael Jackson with an army of Panthers just a little less than I trust him with an eight-year-old. 